everybody Anne here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all you it's been raining all day so I've taken advantage of that and I'm doing some more laundry and the Sun has just came out I can't believe it but Papa I got to talk to you about Papa see that sweet boy oh he caused trouble yesterday after I had done all kinds of work on the yard to keep this boy inside well he got out again. Remember how I had this blocked off by that other pallet? Well, he was still getting out. So I moved it over here. This is just my wagon. I've got some wood in there. I just covered it up with that. I thought maybe he was getting out underneath the chicken netting. Put that over there. I think I need to put some more fencing up there. But after doing all this, he still got out. And see that right there? Well, that remained intact, but he still got out. And I got to tell you, yesterday I went into town, like early, when it was still cool. I left Papa in the tiny house, and since I knew he could already, already jump out that side window, um, I had kind of closed the windows to where there was only a little space in them, and kept fans going and whatnot. Um, I did it on both the... <laughs> morning, Romeo. I did it on both of these side windows, but I left the front window all the way open. This one, I left it all the way open, and as you guessed, he pushed the screen through, and he jumped out. It was pretty weird. When I got home, this was off to the side. This was tipped over. Um, so what he did is he got up on here and pushed through this screen, and then he got out. So when I got home, I noticed he was underneath the van. I walked up from my truck, saw him underneath the van. I saw everything in the yard intact, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how is this dog getting out? So I brought him back in the yard. I started working on some video editing and whatnot. And all of a sudden, I noticed that he's no longer in the yard. I have no idea where he is. So I went over to the neighbor's house, and yep, he was underneath of their house, and he, he wouldn't come out. So I tried to figure out how is it that he got out of this yard. Well, I was able to find his lead. See this corner over here? It's kind of like right by this gate here. He was able to figure out he could get behind these plants, go all the way over here, and he was able to squeeze between this netting and this. Now, he can't get out now. I mean, he probably could if he tried hard enough, but he that's how he was getting out. He was slipping through there. I couldn't believe it. And I know this because I saw him today try and do it when he had his lead on. So, at least for a few more days until Nella is done doing what she's doing, this boy is going to stay on a lead. Now, it's a very long lead. I can open this up. He can get all the way out there. He can get underneath the van um, and cool, chill out and cool off and whatnot. But this boy, he's very smart and he's very determined so I apologize to the neighbors because their dog has not been over here. They're, they're able to keep their dogs on their property. This boy, I've not been able to do that. So I think I need just to get him fixed. I just have to get him fixed. So I need to call the vet, see how much it's going to cost. And we just need to get that taken care of. I think it'll make him roam less. I mean, he still loves to get out and roam and scope out the woods, but... I tell you, it's very stressful for me when he's out there and I don't know where he's at. I did another load of laundry. Oh, yes. It may rain again today, but that's okay. Just put him through a second rinse cycle. Got my socks done. I love doing laundry out here. Remember those weird planting projects that I did? Well, let's see how they're doing. Oh, look at this. This is so sad. Yeah, I think we can decommission these now. <laughs> totally died. It did have a... A tomato on it but look at this one gave me a cayenne pepper <laughs> the problem is well they developed algae down in there and it just got too hot they lost all their leaves so they're dead look at you guys I got an algae farm <laughs> yeah I knew that was gonna happen too um, these didn't sprout except for the algae plenty of algae gonna dump that out look it I do have some lettuce and the difference is is this is not a clear container so I've got a little bit of lettuce growing. I don't know how well it will do, but I'm going to leave it in the shade and see what happens. Yeah, 
neither of these sprouted either and lots of algae so I'm gonna dump those out so if I do this in the future I will put them in containers like this yep that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna dump these out I'm gonna rinse these out and I'm gonna see if I can use these little pots again like net pots and just fill them with another grow medium and uh, try again another day but who knows maybe I'll get some lettuce after all and look, my lilies are blooming, finally. Yes, they are, they're looking pretty lush. Yes, there's, there's gonna be some more here. They haven't spread over to here yet, but that's okay. I don't know if they will. I mean, they will eventually, but, and they're coming up over there too, so hopefully those will flower before too long. What you want, chickens? Did you lay your eggs yet? Look at, Miss Briss is starting to get her girlish comb back. I hope she turns around. The baby chicks are four weeks old and she's still sticking with them. She's taking them up into the brooder box at night and keeping them warm. But she's starting to kind of not ignore them, but just give them a little bit more space. She doesn't, you know, insist they be right up next to her. She's letting Romeo tidbit a little bit. She's letting the other hens get close to them. So I think she's doing a good job in raising these baby chicks. If she can just get them through the next couple of weeks, I think they'll be fine. Even if she does just say, oh, I'm done with you guys, they'll have enough feathers to be able to stay warm by themselves. Something has definitely changed with Miss Pris. She's not clucking for her babies anymore. See? The sound she's making sounds more like a hen that just wants to go back and be with the flock and lay an egg. They were all caterwauling a little while ago. And Roxy and Coco both laid an egg. But see, she's just ready to go out. She's not clucking to her babies anymore. Her babies are all over here by themselves. So... Oh no, I think we're just gonna see how this day goes. If she doesn't take them up in the van with her tonight like she normally does, I'm gonna have to think about whether or not they're safe to stay in the van by themselves or if I need to bring them inside with a heat mat. I'm just not sure. The other chickens don't seem to be giving them any problems. Aw, oh, spoke too soon. But they've got a lot of feathers. So... Oh no, just gonna have to wait and see. What's up, Rocky? Yeah? What's up, dude? Look at, he's starting to get some brown on him. You can see here and there. He's doing a lot of crowing in the mornings. Now, I hope these baby chicks are going to be okay. They're four weeks old. She stuck with them a week longer this time, so I'll keep you updated. I let them out to free range, and it looks like they are sticking together still. There's Dorch, all by himself. Oh, she's still protecting the girls, or the boy, the babies, the, the girls and boy. So I think I think we got maybe another week, maybe one more week until she's given up on them. But the other hens are starting to get closer. But see, she's still heading them off. And Torch is all the way over there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let them free range and uh, have an awesome, awesome day finding bugs and grubs and plants and whatnot. I love them. I'm kind of just enjoying this day. It's nice to be able to be inside the tiny house during the summer and not be roasting. It's it's cool today, but the sun is coming in and out of the clouds, so I'm getting a little bit of solar. I made some pickled eggs. Mmm, yummy! And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.